Guess what time it is? That girl Tyson time. First and foremost, I know this isn't my normal setting. We're getting some new flooring in, which means that while the men work upstairs, I'm in my car vlogging. It's Wednesday, which is the middle of the week here in Canada. Under normal circumstances, I have my vlog done by now, and I did. I had it done. And do you want to know what happened? I deleted it. Secondly, you probably noticed that I am vlogging with my hair down. It was a request by a viewer. This could possibly be the first time you've actually seen me with my hair down. The reason for this is because I don't wear my hair down. It gets in the way. My hair is super long. It actually touches my butt when I'm standing in it straight. There is a reason behind this as well. The reason is my dad. When I was in grade seven, my dad, the lovely man that he is, used to work afternoon shifts, which meant that he would take care of us in the mornings, in the afternoons, after we got off school. On this one such occasion, I woke up in the morning and it turned out I had lice. I'm not too sure where I got them from. I'm going to blame that on my little brother because that's what little brothers do. They bring home bugs. My dad was combing out my grade seven hair. He couldn't get the comb through, so he decided that he was going to cut my hair. For some reason, we didn't have scissors. He decided to use a knife. Don't ask me, I don't know and he cut it and the tension and he cut it basically on an angle like this. Well, it hurt and it was an awful haircut. A lot of kids have those traumatic experiences. It's hard being a kid and it's hard growing up as we all know because we've all been there and we've all grown up. Some of us more than others. There has been a flurry of news articles and and exposés on bullying these days. Now, bullying's not new. Bullying has been around for ages and ages. But only recently it's been getting the attention it deserves. There's this new campaign going around called the It Gets Better campaign. People are posting messages to kids and bully victims and they're telling them that it gets better. And that's the motto of these messages. The other day I watched one where it was a Marine and his sheriff boyfriend and they put one out and they kissed at the end and it was really quite cute. I think this campaign is great. We want our kids to get good grades and we want our kids to excel in football. We really need to teach our kids how to accept others and how to appreciate differences. Now, when I was growing up, I was never really bullied, but I had quite a few friends who had an extremely hard time making it through high school. But social media wasn't as popular, and with things like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, I couldn't imagine what it would be like in this day and age when kids have the power that they have with the internet at their fingertips. The problem is, is people only now are realizing how vicious cyberbullying is. The other day I read that Perez Hilton had put out a plea for celebrities to stop bullying and to put their messages out there. And while that's all fine and dandy, it really made me stop and go, huh, this guy's website targets other celebrities, makes fun of them, whether they're fat, whether they're skinny, whether they're wearing an appropriate outfit, or whether they look like a slut, or whether they're flashing their gash, or whatever. He is merciless in his mocking. And the funny thing is, is that cyberbullying, does he get a pass because he's bullying celebrities? Who knows how many plastic surgery sprees he's spurred, you know? It's not just kids being bullied. It's in the workplace, it's in forums, it's in tabloids, it's TMZ. Kids think it's acceptable because society has bought into it. And that's the sad, sad truth. Kind of breaks my heart. So to wrap up my piece on bullying, check out the It Gets Better campaign. So that said, I did have another fabulous find for you on my other vlog. Unfortunately, it's upstairs and I cannot bring it down to my car. So I have a song that's a fabulous one. It is Marina and the Diamonds and it is called I Am Not a Robot. All right, so what came in the mail? John Hughes movies. Like most people out there that have taste, I love The Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, and Sixteen Candles. These are fun movies, entertaining movies. There's always a moral to be learned. There's always some funny clothes to laugh at. Just to make it clear, I would have chose Ducky. Let's discuss Molly Ringwald's dress at the end of Pretty in Pink. She ruined two perfectly good dresses, the one her friend gave her and the one her dad gave her. In the end, she looked like she was wearing a pink potato sack. What was with the lace? What was with the high collar? What was with off the shoulders? It was ridiculous. It was ugly. That dress just gets me steamed up. Are you ready for the weird crap around my house? Technically in my car. The Welcome Back Cotter card game. Now I love Welcome Back Cotter. I'm a huge fan of Gabe Kaplan. Juan Epstein was always my favorite on the show. Well, the Welcome Back Cotter card game, it's not as great as the TV show, let's just say that. I don't really do much with this. It basically just sits on my shelf and I think, oh, John Travolta, you've come so far from being Vinnie Barbarino. 
So let's wrap things up with a little learning from the Urban Dictionary. I'm only gonna give you one term this week. That term is Maris. Maris is a male version of Paris Hilton. If you know any prima donna males out there with their parents bailing them out of jail and them drinking Cristal and acting a fool, well, they're Marises. So maybe for a little sneak peek, I can give you a tour of my car. I really like my rear view mirror thing. My skeleton guy who accompanies me on my rides. My air freshener, which looks like a Converse shoe. But the best part of my car is my bumper stickers. My other car is a pirate ship. Trust me, I'm a pirate. So that's about it, a tour of my car. And other than that, I'll see you next week for That Girl Tyson. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. <laughs> That was my Horshack laugh, if you didn't know.